guys so i get lots of questions about how i style my hair so i thought i would show you that today on today's vlog so this is hair wash day as you can see so it is dyson air wrap day um i always section my hair into three bits on each side and then i use the remy cachet tang detangling spray which really helps detangle the weave that i have um and it also smells incredible then i go in with the D ghd curly ever after heat spray this stuff I swear by for your like holding your curls. Um, I then ought to go in with the smoothing brush. I kind of focus this more on my roots um, just because, yeah, with the tongue part of the Dyson Airwrap, I feel like you can't really get to that section. So, yeah, I kind of majorously focus this on the roots and then just brush that down. And I feel like this really helps like tame any frizz and just kind of smooths the hair out. Then onto the tongue. So I always use the arrow which is facing away from my face. So yeah, I like my curls to go away from the face and I just basically work the hair, or hair on the way up just to make sure it's on as like smooth as possible. And then once that is hot enough, I will hold on the cool setting as you can see there until the hair is cooled down. Um, and then once it's done that, I will just let the curl drop out. So I've just sped up this bit because, yeah, I basically do the same process over and over again on each layer of the hair. Um, and then again, on each layer of the hair, I also obviously spray the detangle spray and the heat protection spray. I just prefer doing it layer by layer because otherwise I feel like it dries too much by the time I get to that layer if I do it all in one go. So yeah, just on the final layer now and yeah, I just do this the same, I pick up all of the little bits and then sometimes I do put the front of my hair into a roller, but I've just done it with the tongue um, today and I feel like it, yeah, it just gives a really, really nice kind of bouncy blow dry look. Hi guys welcome back to another vlog so you've just seen me uh, wrap my hair this is both sides done i've not brushed through this yet but i like to kind of leave it maybe like 20 minutes or so and then i'll brush through them but i do need to take some content quickly for an ad on instagram so i'm gonna do that now it's currently quarter past 12 um i've had not a slow start to the morning i've got up at my usual time but jamie needed to be dropped to the train station today at 10 and I knew I wanted to fill my hair. So I thought if I showered and did it all that, then my hair would like probably be dry by the time I got time to do my air wrap tutorial. And I prefer to do it obviously when it's wet. So I tidied the apartment this morning. Well, decluttered, but didn't like clean or tidy it really. Um, and then dropped him to the station and then I came back, had a shower, washed my hair and I've just finished doing that now. Um, so yeah, it's quarter past 12, <laughs> nearly lunchtime, which is a bit mad. I actually need to put some lippy on. I've not put any on today. Um, but yeah, I've just got some content to do for Instagram quickly. And then I've got loads of new home bits from like H&M and places like that. So yeah, I'm going to show share these with you because people... I had a few messages on Instagram saying, please can you show more home stuff so yeah i'm glad that you guys like to see that content because i love watching homey vlogs as well so that is the plan for the today i don't know if i've said it's currently friday we are going down to devon either tonight or tomorrow morning i'm not actually sure like i said jamie is in london so it just all depends on what time he comes back i obviously need to change out of my pajamas <laughs> these are the ones from amazon and they're honestly the best ever but i do have actually some new ones to try which I will share with you, show with you as well, because I've got a few PR boxes. So maybe we'll do a little unboxing of all of that as well. I just cannot believe it's like, what is the day today? The 18th of November. It's actually mad. Um, yeah, it's going to be Christmas before we know it, isn't it? Okay, content done. And I actually have some clothes on <laughs> for once, because I usually just live in those pyjamas. But I have got on a little Zara jumper i absolutely love this jumper it's like a large slash extra large but the fit is so nice just like really boxy i do have like a black long sleeve top underneath it because it's slightly itchy um it's actually bearable without but yeah just for ultimate comfort at home today i have got a long sleeve underneath and it's also got so cold and i like to have the i don't really have the heating on in here because it's like kind of not cold enough for that yet but i like to have the like the windows open slightly because i like the fresh air so yeah have to dress up warm and i've got these trousers on from reese which i absolutely 
love i have them in the tailored cropped version as well you would have seen them in latest hauls um what is the time now so it's currently one o'clock i've just sent off that content for approval i hate taking photos indoors on the iphone because it always brightens and it always goes blurry so yeah it was a little bit of um not the easiest also i got some like chrome bronzy nails what do we think i don't know why i had you so close there just taking around for a little wee as well you're a fluffy boy aren't you do you want to tell everyone why you're fluffy because you had to miss your haircut because you might have had an eye infection but it wasn't an eye infection in the end was it so you could have had a haircut hmm so now you are a fluffy floofy boy fluff 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 he's like mom get the camera out of my face oh do you like that is that nice do you have an itchy ear right so now i need to wash my hands <laughs> for god's sake and then i'm gonna have some lunch i don't know what to have either oh, it's friday obviously we're not gonna be home this weekend so my fridge is very bare so i need to use up what is in there so we have some eggs we also have some chicken soup which is jamie's soup but he wasn't working from home yesterday so he's not had it so maybe i'll have this because the eggs will last one's at 19th that's tomorrow so maybe we'll have chunky green chai to <laughs> wow <laughs> oh god that was a bit of a tongue twister for me but i'm not sure if i really like like curried soup i'm not too sure about that i'm like a tomato chicken and mushroom um but I'm not a squash kind of gal. So I'm not too sure. But let's give that a go because that's just easy and I am ravenous. Ram, if you're not only breakfast today, can you tell me why that is? Are you not hungry? Shall I put you some little treats on top? Will that entice you to eat your food? Of course it will. Here it comes. Pitter pat is over. Am I really zoomed in? No. Only a little bit. Right, let's make some soupy oh, for lunch i've still actually not brushed out my hair and do you know what it still looks really good so i'm just gonna let it drop naturally today because i don't have any more content left to do i've done everything that i need to do for the week i just have to do some admin ad, ad, ad mini bits and some editing and that is okay I filmed a reel for the stories that I just did here on Wednesday and oh my god it took me all day to edit and try and get it how I wanted it to and then I re realised that it wasn't the editing programme that I had which was the reason why it wasn't working and I literally spent about 50 quid on different editing programmes to try and do what I wanted to do. I was basically doing the mirror, I'll pop it here because it would have gone live by the time this has gone live, where you like swipe. And I realised, yeah, I thought it was the editing software, which is why it wasn't working, but I realised it because I was starting and stopping the videos. And honestly, I spent all day editing this damn video and it didn't work. So then I had to refilm it yesterday. And I edited it on the train. It was simple. So, yeah, I was very pleased with that little reel. So, yeah, go and give it a follow. A follow? <laughs> go and give it a like over on my Instagram if you haven't already. Because, yeah, that took dedication to do that video. Um, right, let's get this soup on because I... Starving. I can't wait till we move and I really want to try and make sure we have like an island when we move in the kitchen because I just feel like this is not very good is it also can you see this coat here it got wet yesterday when I was taking Ralph for a walk and every time I like turn around I like jump because I think it's human, but it's not. So I actually just think it's dry now, so I actually can put it away because it keeps scaring me. Right. Do you have, like, bread with this type of soup? Oh, guys, I don't know if I'm going to like that. It's really curry -y. It's just basically a Thai green curry. Oh, but I don't know what else I'm going to have. Georgia hash browns 
So I might have those with eggs on top because this is not for me. Absolutely not. So, yeah, that's going back in there. Sorry. Right, do I have any mushrooms? Right, eggs. I need to put the oven on for the cool jet things. Yay, I've got one mushroom left. Woo! Right, so I'm gonna have eggs, mushroom, and spinach. All need courgette hash browns. very noisy out there. <clears throat> so, home wear haul. Um, I actually got most of the bits from H&M. I've got a very large box here. And some of it's Christmas orientated, Christmas decorations. And yeah, I'm very excited about it. First up, one thing that I did take out because I was very excited about was this new vase, which is honestly, why can't I talk today? Which is honestly stunning. I have a white company one on the table currently and the like a spouty bit is really wide. So it's really hard to do flower arrangements. So I saw this one, it was only 17 pounds. And when we move, I will have be able to re use the white company one somewhere else i just don't really have much room to use it elsewhere currently so i'm going to try this one out i'm probably not going to try it till next week though actually i can put the roses that i've got in that one i need to change the water and stuff so i'll pop them in this one and see if it looks better it's just in the white company one over there i'll show you in a sec it just goes like really far out um so yeah i'm hoping this one will be better and this one was 17 pounds another item of this box Ooh. Christmas candle. So I have loads of these candles. I have this one here, which is rich mahogany, which I have burnt, mm, which is incredible. I also have another one in the bedroom, which is called Sublime Patchouli, I believe. So I thought I'd pick up the Christmas candle, it's only 12 pounds. So I feel like these are a really good one if you like, like to burn candles throughout the day. Um, this one's a sweet caramel and cinnamon paired with ginger, warm vanilla cream. Oh, that's stunning. That's a little bit, I'd say it's more subtle than the White Company one, but it's more on the sweeter side. I think it's that sweet caramel. Oh, it just literally smells like cake, like a Christmas, like, salted caramel cake. And the Christmas decoration bits. So in the apartment, we can't really have a tree. I don't really have any room for it, nor do I have any place to store it afterwards. So I usually do kind of like a little display on the TV unit. Um, and then now that we have the dining table this year, I'll probably do a little display on there as well. So I got four, I believe, of these candles. Um, my sister actually used these for her baby shower and I thought they were really, really good quality for the price. I mean, I think she used these, I'm not too sure. But again, I think I got these in 15% off. So I got two of the smaller ones. And then I got two of the bigger candles. They're kind of like a brassy gold. Um, they feel really good quality. So I thought with these, I could either have one, two each side of the TV unit, or I could have four. I mean, I don't really know how I'd do it on the... Um, dining table um so yeah these have multiple uses pretty sure i'm going to put these like either side of the tv with obviously candlesticks in and then have like a garland like going through that was my vision for those um i did also get ralph a christmas jumper but it's really pink 
So I think it's going to have to go back. I've also got him this one in another colour as well. So I'll find that one in a second. But yeah, I thought this could be his Christmas. Do you know what I mean? It is coming up a bit red on camera, but it's definitely more of a pink. So yeah, that one's going to be going back because... We don't want a pink Christmas jumper, we want a red Christmas jumper. Um, this one I always get Ralph in a size small. And this was, I think it was like £14. Um, it feels really, really nice quality. Like I said, I have got another colour in here somewhere. So that one is going to have to go back. And then I also got some table cloths slash runner. I've got two different ones. So I've got a table runner and I've also got a tablecloth around so our table is from Way wayfair which i absolutely love but jamie i'm gonna blame this on you has put like um cups on it and it's marked it doesn't actually have like a stain resistant thing on it it's very rough so it like obviously the, the wood has like damaged quite a lot so when we move i'm gonna probably have to like sand it down and probably restain it but i don't want to do that because i obviously don't know where we're moving to and also i don't know what kind of floor we're having so i don't know what stain i want to stain the table so i thought for the time being being i would get a tablecloth to put over so he can't ruin it anymore but i didn't know if a table runner would look better or just a whole tablecloth so i got both and i thought to be fair you can't go wrong with the linen tablecloth and I feel like I would use them both anyway. I feel like a little table runner is quite nice for like, yeah, like a Christmas table. So I got, to, I'm not going to have to take it undone too much because I want to put it back in the wrapping. Um, but yeah, I got the linen table runner. This was 45 by 150. And then I am going to be doing like a decorate with me type of video and i feel like i want to like have the table set up like all the time like really christmasy this year um because like i said yeah we can't really have too many decorations here and i used to always have here two lanterns full of fairy lights and i used to love it but we don't have the lanterns anymore so now i'm gonna need to find out find where i can put more fairy lights because that's what makes it super super cozy this is the same one in the round so i'm going to try both of those out when we come to decorate i'm going to do it next weekend so which is like the last weekend in november so you don't have too long to wait and this little box i'm not gonna lie i kind of forgot what i got okay okay so i got these little mugs which i thought were stunning I realized i thought these were the sources to these I mean, that still looks kind of cute, but it wasn't like the vibe that I was going for. I really, does anyone have like days of the week mugs? As in like, I really wanted like a nice little Sunday mug to have. We always have like a cup of tea in bed on a Sunday. And I really wanted like a really cute form as a saucer so I can put like a biscuit on and stuff. Or is that just me being really strange? So I ordered these thinking this was the saucer, but it wasn't. So then I had to do another order and get the sauces. Um, but what I did think this dish would be really, really good for is to put next to the tea and the sugar to have the teaspoon on. Because I go through so many teaspoons a day because I constantly just like wash them when you don't really need to when it's just going, having a tea bag on. So I thought this could be like a little tea bag spoon tray, which is going to go next to um, the tea and coffee. So I think there should be, God, so much. This is one thing I hate. Me and my sister were talking about this the other day. It's the amount of packaging. Like, I do understand, it's like, they don't want them to break, but honestly, it's a bit excessive. Right, so in here must be another one of these. So I don't really have a use for the other one, but, I mean, I literally think they're, like, a pound, so I feel like it's not really worth sending back. So I'll keep them anyway. That could be, like, a little, like, nuts little dish or something. I feel like there's going to be a use for it. Jamie will probably tell me otherwise. Oh, no, has that got, like, a black mark on it? Oh, well um so this must be another little cup here right so we have so i only got two because i thought i don't there's only me and jamie so i don't need another one yay these are the right size Ravi, you're not allowed on there but i'm gonna let you on there for a minute while i'm filming he's on the arm of the sofa and he's not allowed on there anymore because he literally goes nuts at every single dog that walks past so i've trained him not to but this week it's like the first week in months that he's rebelling rebelling against me. And he's been a naughty boy this week, I'm not gonna lie. Right. Oh my God, how cute is that? 
I just love it. I'm gonna make a cup of tea in it now. I hope they're a good um like thickness. Oh yeah, they are. They're not too thick, not too thin. Anyway, I love that. I just think that looks so cute. Me like walking into the bedroom with me, mine and Jamie's cup of tea, little biscuit on side. Oh my god, I absolutely love them. They are stunning. Cute. Okay, so the last thing was Ralph's jumper. Ralph, do you want to be a model? Do you want to come be a model? Be careful. Do not knock over my. Do you want to come here then? Quick. Walk the tightrope. Come here. Come on. Can you get to me? <gasps> what is this? Mommy, try. Oh, come here. Ravi, I've got your head in. Come on. Oh my god. Everybody wants to see what you look like with your jumper on. They told me. Okay? I'm actually quite, he's not, he loves, well, the reason why I've got him a jumper is because I know he's going to be very cold once he gets cut next week because he is very fluffy at the moment and I don't have a jumper for him at the moment so that is the reason why I got a jumper but to be fair, he does enjoy a jumper, he finds it nice and cosy as I know there is dogs out there that do not like clothes on them oh my god, you are a beautiful boy <gasps> I'm going to take it off because you're a smelly boy at the minute and I don't want you to ruin the jumper but that is so cute guys this is a perfect little jumper i love h&m jumpers he's actually got a christmas jumper oh yeah he does have a christmas jumper already from h&m i wonder what that is maybe it's at my mum's but yeah i got him the size small um so for reference this is ralph i mean he's a very fluffy boy at the minute for size reference he is i think he's like six kilograms um so yeah oh like he is just pure fluff aren't you right you're gonna go back to your little spot oh my god i thought you were gonna knock everything off then so yeah that's a really cute little jumper so that was everything i got from um h&m home so i did get some bits from the garland from balsam hill but i'm not going to take that out yet because i'm going to keep that in its box until i put that up next week but yeah i hope you enjoyed this little home segment oh wait i've got some other new bits but they're already out so let me take you off the tripod and i will show you them what cute these go so well together okay right i'm getting distracted right let's not let's hide the fact that my lounge is now an absolute mess so I got this plimp from H&M Home at the same time I ordered all this, but I had to put it out straight away. Absolutely love it. So I've actually got a new chair coming here, coming, that's going to go here from by Crea. Um, so yeah, I'm working with them on some content. So yeah, I've got a new chair that's coming here, which is like black and like a velvet sand, like this colour. So I feel like that's going to tie in per perfectly. So ignore the brown with this at the moment. We're going to take this one down to Devon tonight because i don't want to get rid of it i absolutely love it It was actually a gift from my friend Deb when they moved um they had to get rid of some of the wooden stuff because they couldn't take it back to australia so she very kindly gifted that one to me so i don't want to get rid of it because it's going to be used when we move um but yeah absolutely love the black plinth, plinth and then i got this new vase here from zara which is stunning i think this was like 39.99 this plinth was 89.99 by the way but it's really really good and it's really heavy really good quality and then i got some dried gypsophilia from etsy which i thought was such a good idea because i just can keep them in all the time from john lewis which is stunning so i really wanted a cozy throw that we would use like over our legs or something in the winter when it's a bit colder but i didn't want anything that would shed or like you know make fluff on your clothes and i didn't want anything that would hitch because ralph loves to bury himself in throws so i got the brown i'm sorry but oh my god look it's got a little heart bubble anyway sorry it's not gone into a round thing that was so cute but yeah i absolutely love these I feel really sleepy <laughs> i was just sat on the sofa in a tiktok bubble i'm not gonna lie just scrolling and i was like wow it's nearly four o'clock it's gonna get dark soon i need to try on these gym bits first a little set just for reference i wear a medium on top and small on the bottom so i actually love this like brown taupe color i'm not actually sure of the exact names but i'll obviously leave them all linked down below they're just so comfortable and i love like the knitted type of 
um, gym legging. This top's like double layered, which is really good. So it's got extra support, perfect for like cardio days. Um, this one's in like a creamy textured, like speckle fabric. Then I also got this long sleeve gray set, which again, love, a medium in the top. Um, small in the bottoms. These are the same bottoms. I think this is the same range as the brown that I just had on. Um, but I actually wore this the other day without a top underneath, but you could always wear like another sports bra underneath as well but it is quite supportive just on its own and then finally got the same in black so yeah i will leave all of the links down below um like i said it's up to 60 percent off all of these items so really really great discount um so yeah i will leave all links down below and i can see the sun trying to set so not trying to set about to set so i'm gonna go take Ralph out for a walk. Okay, I've just popped my walking attire on. This um, jacket I'm actually sharing in a haul, but I think the haul's gonna go up after this video. So I thought I would show it on here as well. It's from H&M. It's like this teddy jacket, but it's got really soft, like warm inside and it's got pockets, which is what I always find that I need when I go out for a walk. Leggings, Azara, Nike socks, New Balances, because it's very windy where I walk. Um, I feel like my ears will get cold, so yeah, I might pop a hat on. Actually, I forgot I got this cute little hat from Zara when I met Dion in London a few weeks back, and it's like really light, so it doesn't take your makeup off your forehead, which I love. It's like an alpaca blend, so it's like really, really cozy and warm. So, let's go. We are going now, I promise. We're going. Come on then. <laughs> And we are back. Right, I'm not gonna sit down now. I'm literally just got back as it's literally gone dark, which was a very good timing indeed. Um, but what I do when I come back from work is I'm not allowed to sit down until all my jobs are done because I feel like it's got me up. I've had a really nice um, walk. So yeah, old me would just come in, sit on the sofa, have a cup of tea and not get up for the rest of the night. But new me, is as soon as I get in from a walk, I tidy and make sure the apartment is all nice and clean before I start my evening. So that is my plan now. This lighting, <laughs> it's got damn awful, but oh well. Um, I have finished tidying, I've just had my cup of tea, I've got the candle on, all cozy. I actually need to go turn this light off because that's not cozy vibes, is it? That's very bright. Oh, that's better, but then, oh, honestly guys, I don't move this furniture it is always where it is and I walk into everything and trip over everything I just tripped over the chair down there um but I'm all done I have half kind of packed to go down to Devon in the morning Jamie is just about to get on the train home now so he'll be back around seven ish and then we'll get a takeaway I think um so yeah I need to edit this vlog and get it all ready to go up on Sunday. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog as much as I have enjoyed filming it. And I shall see you all. I don't know what is with my hands today. I don't know what's going on to be honest. Um, I shall see you all in Wednesday's video, which is very exciting. It is a Zara mango and H&M haul. So yeah, stay tuned for that.